So I'm trying out a different mask today on campus um, to teach in because I felt like all I did last week was fidget with the mask I had on. I couldn't keep it on my face the right way. And um, I also teach presentation skills in public speaking. So fidgeting is definitely not something you're supposed to be doing. Um, but this one seemed to work a little bit better, except that I had a hard time. It kept either riding up on my face or coming down by my chin. So I don't know if anybody has any brilliant solution for when you have to talk for a really long time, let me know. I had a really long Monday. Um, as I was recording my last video, I was walking across campus from one classroom to the next. It's like 15, 20 minute walk from um, the women's field house over to the Blackwell Inn. And I kept thinking, I feel like I don't have everything, but I'm carrying around a lot of stuff right now. Extra masks, extra sanitizer, extra disinfectant, making sure that I've got walking shoes and dress shoes to wear when I'm actually teaching and my lunch, cause there's no time to stop anywhere in between classes and water to stay hydrated and coffee to stay awake. Well, I didn't have everything because as soon as I got into my next class, it was about 15 minutes before class is ready to start. Getting all my things out, getting everything set up, cleaning it all, disinfecting everything, disinfecting the chairs so I can put my bags down, all the insanity that is right now. And I realize I don't have my notes for my lecture because they're on my iPad. I left my iPad in a classroom like 15 or 20 minutes away from where I was. So I panicked. I was already like hot and sweaty from <laughs> this far walk that I had. It's a beautiful day, but that's a long way to walk when I'm carrying all this crap. So I realized that I have lost my iPad. So I decided I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna call our department and see what they tell me to do. So they end up telling me that I need to call our IT guy who is amazing and on top of everything and always incredibly helpful. So he tells me he's going to contact like the university IT and gonna figure out what we need to do. Just go in and teach class and it'll be fine. So I go into my classroom. I'm getting everything set up. Can I get the stupid cameras to work right? Um, I can't figure out how to get the zoom on at the same time while I'm teaching the students in person. And um, then they did uh, bust out laughing when I turned on the camera that was at like the um, the webcam and you can see like this much of my head above here. And I'm like, well, we can't use that one because you can't see me at all. Um, and texting my husband, <laughs> cause I'm panicked, texting the IT guy, trying to watch the, find my iPad on. And then I see on that find my iPad app, a little red dot. And I'm like to my students, what does a little red dot mean? Does that mean it's moving from one location to another? Yes, yes it does. What's happening with my iPad? I don't know where it's going. I don't know who has it. And so I texted my husband and I said, can you please just come to campus and go to the women's field house and see if you see it there? So he did after he got off his call in between his next call, drives to campus, looks for it. He can't find, it. I don't know where it is. I'm looking on this map. I have no idea what's happening. Um, all while I'm in the middle of class, trying to teach and zoom and everything else that was going on. And I just see it moving closer to where I was, but further away from where I thought it was located. Two hours later, when my class is finally over, I walked toward where this thing was and realized that it was in a building that now houses our like one of the main tech offices for our campus. And I walked in there and I was so loud. I didn't even care at this point. I was like, who do I talk to to find my missing iPad? And these sweet students said, oh, it's right over here. There were like two or three of them. And I'm sure they thought I was absolutely crazy, but I was like, you guys have saved my life. <laughs> like, thank you so much. Whoever had to walk across campus today and retrieve this for me, please, tell them how much I appreciate it because I am sure that was not on their agenda today.